is a compound inequality. It's just like our AND and OR statement, but what it is is when our phones are away, it's a better, it's a different way for us to write the inequality. So therefore, we can put the pencil in our hand and write down the example for number 11 so then we have our answer. <laughs> All right, so here's one way we can solve the inequality, ladies and gentlemen, all right? One way we can solve it is I'm gonna show you two different ways, but one video, I'll show you this way. First way, if you guys notice, this says negative 47 is greater than one minus eight M. Let's just cover up the right side of that and just write that inequality. Okay, then let's cover up this answer and just write that inequality. So therefore, we either have this inequality or we have this. So what we've done is we've just created our, you know, we haven't created, but we just separated our compound inequality. So this is the way we can write them together. And a lot of times, if you don't understand how to do them together and it confuses you, the next way I'm going to show you, you can always just separate it. So does anybody have any questions on how I separated it? Now, it's just like what we did for our one through five. So I, I obtain six is less than M when I do my work. And then over here, negative eight M is uh, greater than negative 64, divide by negative eight. M is now going to be less than positive eight. So what we see here, When I have my graph, let's go to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. So what we notice is M is all numbers greater than 6, right? So I go to 6 and I make a nice open dot. It's not going to be closed because that's just um, greater than. So what numbers are greater than 6? Well, that's going to go in this direction. Then I go to this one, it says M is all numbers less than eight. So I make a nice big circle at eight, and I say, oh, all numbers going that way. So then what I notice is, since I have a line going here and a line going there, I'm only going to graph where these two interlap. So therefore my graph is gonna look like that. I don't need to, because remember, it's only gonna make your inequality true and it makes both of your inequalities true. So therefore, even a point here, that will make this inequality true, but it won't make that inequality true. So you have to make sure you only graph in where it's going to make both inequalities true. So that is how you solve number seven and eight. Just separate them out.